right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do our Georgia O'Keeffe thumbnail sketches. So what you need in order to do that is the worksheet for today, your viewfinder with my signature on it, and your flower that you've picked from the back. So first of all, thumbnail sketches are all about good composition. So you need the, the difference here between these four drawings is going to be composition and point of view, how you're looking at your flower. So you want to make sure it's not centered, that it touches all four sides or at least three. And I'll show you some examples of how three will still work. It's got to use balance, it's got to fill the page, and it's got to use cropping. So, one, we are, because we are doing Georgia O'Keeffe still lives, we are going to zoom in. So one of the things we're going to use this viewfinder for is to figure out a view that we want. Now, you should not be using a viewfinder like this. That At no point should you be able to see the entire flower. Your viewfinder needs to touch the flower. So all you're seeing is a part of the image. Now you can look at that any kind of way you want. Now realize anything that comes outside the viewfinder, like the stem here, would disappear. The only thing we're worried about is what's inside the square. Now I kind of like that one, so I'm going to set it set it over here so I can see it and I'm going to pick up my pencil. Today's activity does need to be done in pencil and I'm going to draw just what I see in the box. So I see this petal here, I see this petal here. See how I'm making those petals go off the edge of the page? Because I don't see the ends of them. If you don't see it, it doesn't exist. So then I'm going to draw this kind of overlaps here. This petal ends here. It's got that little piece down the center. This one's got this piece down the center. And then I hit the center part. I'm going to draw this. And then the stem goes off the page right over here in this corner. All right. And then I've got a petal here. Kind of got a petal there. And I'm here. So, you can see I drew exactly what I saw in the drawing. What I don't want to see is do I see the ends of any of these petals? No. Do I see any space between the edge of the petals and here? No. So make sure that your petals are going off the page. That's your cropping if they're going off the page in your object. So now, once you've got your first one, it is accurate. So you've looked, you're using your right brain, which means you're not talking. Because that's what this is. This is a left brain drawing. Your brain knows that there's an end to that pedal, so I'm going to draw it. Not correct. So then you can pick another view. Now, depending on what flower you're choosing, different views have different difficulty. If I were to draw this view right here, as you can kind of see, are there a lot of petals? Yes. Is it going to be very difficult to get all of them exactly right? Yes. But if I draw kind of, let's see, and kind of fold things back, if I draw so that I'm mainly seeing, let's try that. That, I'm seeing a few petals, but not quite as many. If I turn it this way, I'm seeing even fewer. So you can make a, a easy view of your petal, or I could even do it this way and kind of unbend that petal. And that becomes really simple. So you can draw just simple, or you can draw complicated. I recommend don't draw too complicated, especially if you have one of the tougher flowers. So you're going to do four different views that meet all the crop composition criteria and are accurate. Now, what I was talking about before where you can do a view that only touches three sides, if I drew this right here, does it fill the page? Yes. Does it have a whole lot of empty space? Not really. Does it not touch this side of the paper? Doesn't, so that's okay. So as long as you're touching at least three out of the four sides and as long as your view is full, you can use that view. So, four different thumbnail sketches, all of them accurate, 
all of them using your right brain, which means no talking during this activity. All right. So by the end of class, these four thumbnail sketches need to be complete.